morning, good morning, good morning. I am getting ready to start my practice. I have brushed my teeth. I've done some social media editing. I woke up still tired. Lots of funky dreams where I was running. Um, I used to be a runner. So I used to lo run long distance and that was my moving meditation. And in this particular dream, I was, I was running and I remember it had to be in Italy because I had a couple of Italian friends that were behind me and uh, there was a refrigerator on the street and I remember opening up the refrigerator freezer door. It was, it was interesting. Um, and something made me feel weighed down because I was going to sprint toward the end of where I was going to turn around and for some reason I just couldn't, it felt like I was heavy. Something wasn't allowing me to move, propel forward. Um, which is interesting because, like I said, uh, this this ayahuasca experience they explained to me that it will last three to five more days at a minimum. And then you know, just like with anything, if you've ever done anything like this, um, we're we're tuning in more deeply. The more we tune in, with, we tune within. The more we're able to see, because that's intuition. That's your knowing. And that connection to self, um, is the more aware you become, the more heightened it becomes. The more you're willing to look at it especially. So I'm getting ready to do my practice now. And uh, I'll share more tidbits throughout the day. And it's got to stay with my lady friends. So I'm looking forward to that because I can use a little bit of goddess nourishment after all of this experience. Um, it's, it is exhausting. Uh, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, so I'm still kind of tired. But um, yeah, it's going to be an amazing day because it already is. So this is the beginning of our ceremonies, gathering of goddesses. We sage and remove and clarify our energies, preparing us to be in the sacred space divine so I'm here and behind me I have Lenka Gail Jeanette Jill and Annette Marie and we are all just finishing up a beautiful ceremony of dancing celebrating discussing and enjoying and I just wanted to share my goddesses with you so Blessed be. Love being shared. Being with you. We should get dumped in a picture of all of us. <laughs> Hi, Lana. Hi, honey. What are you doing? I'm folding these rad flyers that uh, you made. Let's see them. Voila. Boom. One side, the other side. Cool. Where are we going now? We're going to Nature's Food Patch. What's the name of the event? Energy is medicine. Energy is medicine. We're going to pass that or we're going to hang one of those, right? Yes. All right. Let's go. Okay, this is going to be a rather interesting video segment because I'm going to share something that I brought back from my ceremony and my experience. First, this is a tool for taking hape. Second, this particular hape that I brought home is called makura, makuraka, right? It's a little difficult to pronounce. And 
it's specifically for removing toxins from the mind, the body, the spiritual body, the soul, right? So to remove all these toxins and so bring clarity and cleanliness to all of your being, your spirit. And so I'm going to show you the process and how this works. And this particular tool is for self-administering, although it can be utilized to give to another person. So the process is that you first want to you pack it and then you want to set an intention for whatever it is that you would like to bring forth and it's always most important to come from a heart space of clarity and pure intention and um, yeah so here we go it's in a little container what I like to do is just and you don't need much so you go in both nostrils the idea is to you uh, make sure your breath is clear and put it in your palm that might be need a little bit more so you get a little bit in your palm just so you can see And you, I use this to p flatten it down. And half will go in one nostril, the other half will go in the other nostril. And keep your tissues nearby. Um, what will happen, so I packed it, and then you tap it so that it falls down to the base. This side you will blow through, I will blow through. And I'll position it to my nose. You inhale, hold the breath, and then you, you blow. And it's not to be inhaled into the lungs, but just go up through the sinus cavity. And then you exhale out the mouth. And when ready, you pack the next side. And then you inhale through the mouth, hold the breath, and blow into the other nostril. So we're going to do this now. I'm setting an intention. And then inhale, suspend. And you breathe in and out the mouth. You don't want to swallow any of drainage that comes down the back of your throat from the nasal cavity. And this powder has a rather pleasant flavor to it, so it's not nasty. Right now my eyes are watering, so it's clearing out my eyes. You can use a tissue to dab if your eyes are blotting and really bl draining. Some people get a lot of um, burning depending on where you're at and if it is really strong to you and you're not ready for it. The key is to breathe and to integrate it and allow the energies to dissipate and move. 
And as I explained before, it goes, it's like it brings you up connecting to your highest self, your soul. And it comes right back down and grounds you in your physical body. Your run, your nose may run. And they say chatta 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 is like deep gratitude. It's more powerful, more deeply than saying thank you. I'm so appreciative. It's very heartfelt. It's very connected. The key is to really tune in and use the breath as your tool if you especially feel ungrounded or unprepared or unaware or if you feel anxiety the breath will always be your tool it will sustain you it will maintain you it will make the experience that more pleasant So this is my first time trying this particular type of hape. I like to sit and meditate with it. It doesn't last very long, depending on the person. And when you feel ready, you can blow your nose and release all of whatever powder is in your sinus cavity into the tissue. You can, throw, you can flush it down the toilet. You want to sit upright, erect, spine, ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips, just like you would be if you're meditating, because you want to use this as a meditative tool. You can ask for clarity, for guidance. Take as much time as you need.
I like to spit out whatever comes out instead of swallowing it because this is important that you're not swallowing it. What was explained to me is if you allow it to go into your stomach, into your lungs, it can be a different form of purging and can turn into vomit. You want to do it on an empty stomach and not eat beforehand. You can eat afterward, after a certain period of time when you feel ready. If you have anything remaining, you can actually place this on your belly, this powder. You can put it on your your head, your you know, like wherever you feel like maybe you need a little bit of extra, right? Because again, our our skin is our largest living breathing organ. It's a healing plant. In traditional, other ch traditional shamanic experiences, quite often they'll smoke it and blow it in your face. And in this case, because the membranes of the sinus cavity are more are thinner, you will absorb it more. And it's not meant to be inhaled into the lungs as much as you want to just get that connection and then blow your nose out. So I'm going to clean out what is in my palm back into the container. And then I'm going to close this up. So so now my nose is running, so I'm about, I'm about ready to blow my nose. And so you'll have a little bit of, you know, obviously it's going to be dirty coming out. But again, this stuff is very pleasant to me. Not everybody's going to have the same experience. And it's really important. I'm not condoning that anybody out there go do this. You have to know yourself. You have to know your body. When I went to the ceremony, see this is what ends up coming out, right? When I went to the ceremony, for me, my right sinus cavity was completely congested. And I hadn't had any congestion. It was just all of a sudden I had congestion. And in my sinuses were completely clear by the time I was done. And um, again, you don't want to swallow anything else that comes out. But now once you've blown your nose, you can breathe in and out your nose. And just allow yourself to have your experience. Just be present with it. If you are the type of person who has anxiety or has trouble breathing, you, there, these are the types of things that may cause um, the freezing of the breath the stopping and then again you always want to harness the breath that's why I stress so much that's why I'm holding a breath awareness workshop because the breath will always help you get through anything in life when you master your breath you can master your mind and you can master your life And for me, I find this to be very lovely, very pleasant. Um, it doesn't take me out of myself. It just makes me more attuned and aligned and connected. This is a new one, so I hadn't tried this one yet. It feels very gentle, very lovely, very loving, very clearing bringing in clarity when you remove the toxins. You can align more with your soul, your heart, and uh, again, align the head with the heart so that the head is not ruling over the heart. It's to open the heart. The more we open our hearts, the more we can come from a space of love and not go into the stories and go into the craziness of the past. Because everything the mind brings up is based on the past.
And so if you have questions, please, in the comments, ask me anything. Because this is just a new tool that I am, uh, I am going to experience and, and uh, experiment with. And I'm finding that I really like the way this feels. It doesn't feel uncontrollable or controllable. It just feels more aligned and connected with my inner being, my soul. And so I'm going to wrap this up. And if you want to know more, keep following me and you'll get to see me through my journey. Because again, this is all about feeling it to heal it. And I'm all about being as present as I possibly can and feeling fully the richness, the sensuality, all five senses engaged, the mind, the body, and the soul. I want to see it. I want to hear it. I want to smell it. I want to taste it. I want to touch it. The most important thing about life is being engaged. And when all of those senses are fully attuned and open, life becomes richer. So tune in for tomorrow's episode, episode 29. Oh, I'm super excited. I love you. Keep it raw. Stay rad.